All right, we're back on uh, Friday here on the Morning Brew, and uh, I'm Larry Aaron, Samber Hendren here. We're going to talk some football. Yes, it's Albuquerque Soul are here with us yeah. today. I'm yeah. so happy. Thank you so much. Albuquerque Soul Football Club. Thank you for having us. Soccer. It's <laughs> It's and soccer fever everywhere we, we are. And we have Luis. Luis is, uh, is working for Seoul in what capacity? Uh, I do director of, of sales. Uh, I do tickets, fundraising with different organizations, community outreach. And I have to congratulate both of you because I've heard that you've had really good attendance at your games. We have. We've been very fortunate. Um, the, the league average is about 250 to 300 per game. Uh, last game was our lowest showing at about 680, 690. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So we're, we're, we think we're on to it. And you knew that Albuquerque <clears throat> was a soccer city. I, I, You've always said I, that. I have. And that just goes to show. Um, it's still surprising to me that how many people don't know we're here still. So that's part of. It's a process. Part, yeah. of, part of being here. Yeah. So Good. Thank you again. So uh, when's the next game at home? When next game, we, we play tomorrow night. We play Saturday. Uh -huh. um, it's uh, we've designated it as a friendly, so by league rules we only needed to have 17 games. Um, we felt like that wasn't fair for the public here; they deserved mm -hmm. more. So we scheduled 10. Um, so tomorrow is quote unquote a friendly, um, but we're playing against the uh, uh, Arizona Sawados. Uh, they're coming into town, and uh, it should be a good match there. Uh, they're in a different league. Um, but it's it's a it would be equivalent to like a step above us. So, oh, I see. Yeah. Oh. See so if we can you, knock off a little better competition. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let, let's hope. We've got some interesting teams in our league. About um, the goal for us is to make it to what's called the Open Cup. Um, once we get to that level, well then you participate around the country against uh, like Laredo, who's in our in our league, different division. Uh, they just got done playing the Houston Dynamo of the MLS, and they lost one nothing. Whoa! So you can move up and down through the different ranks, and so that's our that's our goal for hopefully next year. But we got to finish the top two of our division. So. Okay. Perfect. Can we talk some World Cup here? Let's do it. Okay. So the other day, Spain went down. I was just amazed. The defending World Cup champs knocked out in two games. What happened? Yeah, how does that happen? Um, it, I don't know. <laughs> um, Were you surprised? I, I was floored. Um, I had some questionable coaching issues um, on, on my part, but I, I don't know. You were uh, telling me before the segment, Spain didn't play some of their better players. Was, it, was there some discipline going on? I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. Um, you have a gentleman by the name of Xavi who's... He's an icon, mm -hmm. and he's been playing for as long as he has, and he didn't start. And then mm -hmm. you have someone like Cesc Fabregas, who scores lots of goals, and he didn't start. Huh. Um, just and and their goalkeeper. I, and yeah. they wonder why they lost. He just he he let a lot of stuff. I but know. I mean, and then there's a reason why I'm on this stage and they're there. <laughs> so <laughs> now you were saying you have a favorite team in the World Cup. I do. I really think Argentina is going to come through. Um, uh, it's been a long time in the making for them. Um, uh, I definitely think that we're going to make it, the, we being the U.S., are going to make it to the next round. Um, but I don't know from there. Yeah. It, 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 but goes. with Spain going down, further goes to prove any team can be beaten on any given day. Yeah, indeed. I'm kind of enjoying the, the World Cup. I'm, I'm kind of into it. I, I like the crowd enthusiasm and and the action's pretty good. Well, there's so much buildup. Yeah. For four years, soccer yeah. fans have been waiting. And this is the interesting part is that, you know, traditional American football fans, they say, oh, the scoring, scoring, scoring. Well, let's make all things equal. Mm -hmm. Let's equate apples to apples, one goal to seven points. Well, yeah. you have, what, uh, Australia versus um, uh, the, uh, the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Yes. It was 3-2, so that's 21-14. Yeah, and that that's was a football heck of, game. That was a heck of a game. Yeah. That's a really good way to look at it. Yeah, I, you know, I've been saying it for years. So I think people are starting to en enjoy it more because there's a lot of action. And I love seeing soccer players' faces. You know, you can really there's so much emotion, and it's it's more dramatic. I thought you were gonna say you just like seeing soccer players. Well, <laughs> soccer players in general. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind seeing them. Uh, 
And um, we have some photos of some soccer players, actually. Yeah, let's just put them for up. me. All right, so Are somebody this, wants to know. Team? Yeah, this is our team. Um, so our typical colors, that's our home color, is the, what they call it electricity. It's a highlighter yellow. Uh, but because we played back to back, we were in red for that, that last picture. Um, so uh, we'll play out at St. Pius, um, 7.30 tomorrow night against the Arizona Suarez. Um Should be a lot of fun. Come on out and watch. Absolutely. If you got a little World, World Cup fever going on. Your tickets at holdmyticket.com, local company. Cool. They sell tickets. So. Go enjoy it. Some soccer, professional soccer here in Albuquerque. Go Albuquerque Soul yes, Football Club. Soul. There's the there's the URL for online info. Hey guys, thanks for coming in. Thank you for, thank having, you for having us. Thank you for having us. You bet. So Anytime. Much. We're behind you. All right. More morning brew in just a moment.